excited to talk with our first guest this morning. They're here to share an amazing campaign with you. It's called Live Like Fred, as in Fred Rogers. 19-year-old Colton DeBias Hello. created the campaign this summer Colton to share Bias. inspirational yeah. stories of neighbors who are carrying on the philosophy of Mr. Fred Rogers by showing kindness and love in their daily lives. The subjects vary, but all are giving back to others. Or, as Mr. Rogers said, they are the helpers in times of trouble. We want to welcome Colton DeBias and his mother, Melissa. They are here to tell us more about Live Like Fred. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Heather. I have to ask first off, what inspired you so much? What was it about Fred Rogers that inspired you so much to do more, to do something? Well, ever since I was a little kid, I've always been, in, I've always been inspired by what Mr. Rogers has done. From watching him early as a, at a young age mm -hmm. and carrying on in my life. I watched him a few times when I was in my middle school and my high school years. And I was just so inspired by his message of kindness and love that he spread to everybody. And I just always wanted to do something with it. Yeah. So that's, I guess that's kind of it. And so how did this idea morph into what you're doing now, this Live Like Fred campaign? Well, well, I am studying broadcast journalism at Point Park. I'm going to be a freshman this year. And I just, and I just kind of wanted to find a way to get like ahead in the game in the journalism field. Mm -hmm. So, so we, so we were talking, and then I mentioned that I want to do something with Mr. Rogers, like I always have, and that's when we came up with the idea of Live Like Fred. So in your, your opening video that you posted on YouTube mm -hmm. and then shared on social media, you said that uh, Mr. Rogers said that television was um, such an important medium. And so you're looking now at social media and saying, hey, this is, this is where it's at now. This is how we're going to reach people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And another reason why we started this is because I just felt that there's just all this negativity on social media and on television alone. I just always felt that I was obligated to, to try and start something, to try to bring positivity back to social media. The message that we are trying to send out is just to say, if you're down on something, and if there's just so much negativity in the world, come to us, watch our videos, and we just hope just for five minutes out of your day just to put a smile on your face. Okay, so we're looking at, I believe this is Gabby and this is, is your Gabby. first video, yes, correct? correct? That was our very first video. And so you found Gabby and tell us um, about what you're doing here and how these videos, um, how, how you choose who you're interviewing in these videos. Right, well, well it's basically, we just, we just find people with word of mouth and, get, and, and Gabby was a perfect first person for us to interview because, because as of like Mr. Rogers, she is a Latrobe native and, and she has always loved Mr. Rogers. And she actually has her own art studio in, in Latrobe where, where, where she teaches art and we, fi and we figured she is, the, she is the perfect person for us to begin our interview with. And I know that she said that as a young child, too, she watched Mr. Rogers and yes, had a great did. impact on her that, life. That is correct. So, Melissa, um, when Colton came to you with this idea and things are kind of starting to flow, you, you had to have been um, happy but not surprised necessarily that he was taking this somewhere. No, I wasn't. He has always loved Fred Rogers since he was a toddler. He, he's always loved him. And uh, I am I'm so proud of him that he wants to carry on. Fred Rogers' uh, message of kindness and love, and uh, it's been a, a nice kindness journey this summer, uh, implementing this campaign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Colton, you can tell us about Matt. I know this is another video we yes, wanted to Matt. share with our viewers, yes. and tell us who Matt is. Matt is, uh, Matt is 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 a, a a YouTuber. He is a master at the claw machine, and he, and he like goes around the Pittsburgh area playing playing arcade games, and with some of the prizes he wins. He usually donates them to Children's Hospital, which which is an amazing thing to do. And we, uh, he um, he's also uh, he donates to charities with right. his uh, his prizes and uh, and he helps kids too. Well, I think what's really important and what I'm seeing here, I mean, Gabby, you know, is helping a lot of people by having this art studio and giving back, but I think it's not necessarily the big things, it's the small things too, and I think that that's something that we can all do in our daily lives, yes, right? Absolutely. Um, and so today you're also launching something else, and this is on social media, and you mm -hmm. guys really are encouraging people to do what? Mm -hmm. To uh, share, that we'll be posting something on Facebook, and to share 
post and then write a few words of kindness on your friends uh, social media pages just to sort of saturate the social media with kindness okay well i think you guys are doing great things and colton i wish you all the success oh, thank you so not much just heather. i really appreciate it park but in your career and live like fred thank is certainly so much, gonna take heather. off thank you so much thank well you. if you need a little bit more positivity as colton says at the end of each of his live like fred episodes follow him on facebook instagram and twitter and you'll find all the positivity you need